Hello everyone, my name is Tonka and welcome back to another wrestling video and my head is going to hurt after that one. Who put that glass there? Whoever did, they are fired. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a piston elevator for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now as you can see, the restaurant for this ink is incredibly small and it has a down function as well. This is also idiot proof, it's actually quite a nice funny word to say. What that means is if your game lags out or anything like that, the pistons will take you down to the bottom. But that's good for me as I like to make extremely, extremely laggy worlds. Anyway, how this thing works is very simple. You just press a button, I know how simple is that? But when you press the button, the pistons take you all the way to the top and then it chucks you out on the top. How nice and then once again you can click the button you can jump on the piston and then you go down and nice and quick however if you want to go down quicker you can jump or break your legs i don't mind so everything you need is in this chest down here like so i don't know what you're thinking he is a very stupid person how can a couple pistons have an elevator that goes all the way to the sky limit these are the items that you're going to need for the up circuit like so so every two layers of your elevator represents these so this is for every two elevators of your elevator then this is for every two blocks of the down function of the elevator once again the down function is optional you can just break your legs anyway i don't really care and then this is just what you have to have anyway on top of that however once you've gathered up all your stuff if you're going to be a mad lad and building it in survival and you have nothing else to do i mean i can't say anything i built this elevator all the way to the sky limit I and mean, it's just so fun to ride like you just go is really complicated you need to uh, place a, a block down then once you have a block you want to put a button on that block and then you want to put a piston facing upwards behind it i know it's difficult but i'm sure you can do it if you try your best you can do redstone now here's a bit of context because everyone loves context this person over here if you just fly on over here is this person over here so bear that in mind when building the elevator the last thing that you want to do is build an elevator and then make it go all the way around again that'll just be absolutely heartbreaking so once you've got your extraordinary button in place you want to place your resonance behind it a piece of resonance to the left right of it I was going to say left then, but I didn't, you're welcome. You want to place two pieces of rest and dust coming this way, like so. Then repeat a set to a two ticks, a block in front of it, with a rest and torch on top. Now, believe it or not, every time that you activate this button, as you can see, the rest and torch turns off, and this button, and this button, piston, it's a piston, and this piston fires. I know, I got it right. Then you want to come a block behind this, a block on top, and then another block to the right. So you've got like a little sh snaky type shape then you want to place a sticky piston here now here is a bit where you have to use that brain of yours you want to figure out how many blocks tall your elevator wants to be so you could either be lazy and make it the same height as me or you can be a bit adventurous and make it to the height that you want to i'm going to make it the same height as this as i'm lazy yeah then you just want to alternate this pattern going from sticky piston to block sticky piston to block and bear this in mind these sticky pistons are facing that piston there don't go ahead and face them the other way as to why it will literally just destroy its own redstone now that would be rather entertaining to see and um, i don't think i don't think you would be too much happy about that so just to bear sure you want to end it on a block and what on earth is the word bear sure is that even a word and then you want to do something else and it's more patterns yeah everyone loves patterns you want to place a piston facing upwards a block piston block piston i know this is difficult you get yourself into a rhythm and then your fingers start to rake so once your fingers start to rake you'll know you're nearly at the top and then you want to grab yourself a immovable object which means an object you cannot move place a block on top of that piston this will stop the thing from just all firing upwards like a rocket then because we're decorated around here we do not want horrible balls you need to build it on side you need to give it a side come on now don't upset his feelings you know how hard broken it would be so give it a side let it have some walls and so now we're actually getting into the nitty gritty bits of redstone and you want to place a block up below all of these pistons do it for all of them it's block 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 once you get to the top and then you want to put a rest and dust on top of this i'm not going to do that for rest and dust and i can save your ears for later then you want to put blocks behind all of these blocks so put two blocks like so and then you want to put rest and repeaters going into all of these sticky pistons with believe it or not more rest stone and dust behind those like so so once you've got it somewhat looking like a cactus you want to come to the top and you want to place a piston facing 
that direction on the top like so is the king of the tower so respect it wisely and then come down to the bottom and this is where the patterning gets involved it's very repetitive but as we all know everyone loves patterns so yeah so what you want to do to start off this amazing pattern place a block on top of the rest and torch a rest and torch here and a block on top of that you want to place a repeater going here and a block in front of this with a rest and torch to the side of it and a block block repeater block rest and torch block now if you look wisely you will see that this rest and torch is the same as this rest and torch so all you have to do is do the exact same so repeater block torch block repeater block torch block how simple is that and i've missed <gasps> i've missed a rest and dust that is that is so bad of me i'm so sorry about that i know you must be so angry and then repeat so just do this until you get to the top so block rest and torch block 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 yeah you, you see what i mean So once you get to this position, you're going to do something different. I know, how bizarre and strange. You're going to place a block on top of the rest and torch. A repeater going this way. A block. A rest and torch. But you place a block on top of the rest and torch. And this is where it gets difficult. You place a rest and torch on top of the block. Then you put blocks on top of all of this with the rest and dust on top of that. And believe it or not, that is the up system done. But please don't click away as I've still got to show you how to do the bottom bit so as you can see if you need some help this is what it looks like from the sides going all the way up to the top so now oh my goodness i've missed another bit of redstone dust oh my goodness i'm so bad so now every time we click this what should happen is the person go all the way to the top and then this person should fire perfect and then when you get to the top you always need a way down without breaking your legs and you want to place a block with a button on it you want to place a block behind it with a rest and repeater facing into the abyss of nothingness. Actually, no, there's a bunny there. The rest and repeater can be facing the bunny. I'll allow that. So now if we click these buttons, as you can see, it lights up. I know how impressive is that. You've made something light up. So if you couldn't do rest and before, you can now say to everyone that you are a rest and genius. Then you want to come a block down, a block to the side, destroy this block. Place repeaters set to four ticks. A block, a block, a block. I know, difficult. Destroy this middle block as it did something wrong. I don't know what. Place rest and dust on top of this. And then you want to come a block down and a block to the side. Destroy this block. And then this repeater is going to be facing this lovely wall over here. How nice. You want to place a block in front of it and a block down. Place rest and dust here. And then do the same. So over here you come in a block down. Rest and repeater. A block up. Block down. Rest down. Do this two all the way down like so. So once you've done that, just end it on the last one, like here. You can then, believe it or not, click this button and what should happen is there going to be a trail of pistons going all the way down. Let's just see that that does happen, in fact. Yep, there we go. As you can see, there's a trail of pistons going down. That's why your character is going to keep nice and safe. And then you want to get some glass. You just want to cover this whole thing in glass. Or if you want to be mean and just bully the person, then you can not use glass and just use a solid block so they can't look out of it so now if we go inside the elevator we click the button we get shot on upwards and then we get kicked out by a nice little person over here then we can press the button again it goes down nice and safely anyway that is the tutorial done if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way possible then please do give me a subscription and whilst you're at it please do like the video as it helps up tons also if you're new here i upload three rest videos anyway that is all from me and i will see you all later